Hi everyone, I'm so glad to be here to make this presentation and thank, thank you for your time to be here. Um, my name is Xin Shu and I come from Nanjing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics. And yeah, my, yeah, that's it. And <laughs> now let's, let me to talk about, about one of my research results relating to um, using the blockchain technology to solve some problems in the UEV system. And the motivation of our research is, um, as we all know, the impact of IoT systems has becoming bigger than ever, you know, um, which can be seen from the smart contracts, which can be seen from the smart homes, smart cities, and so on. And uh, as a typical um, application scenario of the IoT, and the UAV system um, can be seen can, um, have become more and more commonly, you know, which mainly because there are lots of benefits of UAV system like low cost, low risk, lightweight, and e they're easy to control, and thus um, there are a broad range of applications of UAV system like inspections and monitoring, serving, mapping, and so on. Um, however, there are also some challenges of UAV system. Um, firstly, um, the UAV system are suffer from the cy some cyber attacks, you know, because UAV system is a distributed system, and uh, so they are um, vulnerable vulnerable to the civil attack or the GPS woofing and so on. Um, and uh, thus the device authentication mm -hmm. and the communication security is very important to the whole system. And secondly, um, with the advancements of the underlying technology of the UAV system, such as uh, the batteries, the charging methods, and the other uh, software, algorithms like the machine learning algorithms and the demand for the demand for the autonomy of the UAV system are becoming more and more evident and at, uh, in fact the concept of a swarm of UAVs have been existed in the military um, area for a long time and now it has becoming more and more unpopular in the civilian areas, in the civilian UAVs areas. And, uh, and the, the, the demand of autonomy requires a high level of coordination and in order to ensure the, um, and, yeah, and to reach the uh, autonomy, we could ensure the UAVs in each of UAVs in the system send accurate information. That's why we need to uh, manage the trust level and in the whole system. And uh, and uh, um, and we um, we try to explore the possibility of using blockchain to solve this problem, especially to uh, perform the trust management. Uh, let me introduce the blockchain technology um, briefly. Um, the blockchain is a hash chain, consists of um, a series of blocks connected by the hash values, and uh, each block contains several um, transactions. Mm, and uh, as the blockchain system is a decentralized system, so it needs the consensus algorithm to reach an agreement among the uh, the current among the current of the current state of the whole world. And, uh, and there are lots of advantages of blockchain, like immutable and temper evident and decentralized, <coughs> which could uh, prevent the single point failure and the uh, resilient 
and, the, and to build a resilient and stable ecosystem. And secondly, and thirdly, um, there are some underlying cryptographic, cryptographic algorithms in blockchains, so it can protect the data privacy and security. Mm, that's why the um, blockchain has been considered to a powerful tool handling large numbers of uh, connected devices. So we, so that's why we want to, um, we want to use this method to uh, solve this problem. And in the figure, in the right figure, we could say that the blockchain has been applied to many non-monetary uh, applications like smart transportation, smart objects, industry, and so on. So um, it's, it's, ration, it's rational to use the blockchain to, uh, into the UAV system. And uh, here is our design goals. Um, as we mentioned uh, before, there are some challenges of the UAV system. And uh, you know, um, firstly, the high the, the consensus algorithm of the blockchain needs high resource consumption and uh, mm. also needs high memory overhead to store records. So we need to make it lightweight. And secondly, um, the UAV system uh, is vulnerable to some cyber attacks. That's why we need to make sure the security. And thirdly, uh, we want to we want the UAV system to operate autonomously, um, ideally without the inference of human. So we need to do the uh, trust. We need to enable the trust management and distributed decision making. Um, yeah, now uh, let me um, introduce the typical UAV system. We can, see, we can see from this figure that uh, there are three uh, components of the, the whole system. The UAVs, um, one UAV or a, a fleet of UAVs, and the, the uh, ground control station. And, and uh, there are three um, communication link among the system that are satellite link um, emitted from emitted by the communication satellite, and uh, which this link is mainly uh, transfer the GPS information and uh, some weather information, and the the second uh, um, link is the. UAV UAV link. This is a uh, very simple, just uh, functions to uh, transmit some messages between UAVs. And secondly, and thirdly, um, the radio communication link. This link can only for uh, transmit the um, commands, audio, video, and other information collected by the UAVs or sent or sent from the ground uh, GCS the ground control station and uh, here is our threat model uh, we consider three attacks three kinds of cyber attacks in our um, system model firstly it's civil attack and uh, the DOS attack DDoS <laughs> attack and thirdly, the GPS spoofing. And the civil attack is very common for the distributed system, which the attacker will could um, could uh, um, make multiple fake identities, and to control some compu computational resource and the network resource of the whole network. Mm, and the third. And the second attack is DOS attack, and the adversary could uh, make the machine or network resource unavailable by sending a lot of spam messages. And thirdly, um, GPS spoofing as um, actually 
uh, the military GPS signals are encrypted, but the civilian GPS signals are not encrypted and uh, with no um, protection. So it's easy for the adversary to falsify the original GPS signals to the um, GPS, uh, to the fake GPS information. Mm, yeah, and, uh, and here's our system model um, composed by the GCS, a fleet of UAV, and the cloud server. The cloud server is mainly responsible for um, network service and storage service and also uh, uh, um, access some uh, data. Mm. Here um, and this scenario um, and this figure describe the scenario that a fleet of um, place surveillance UAVs are um, finding a missing people. Yeah, so they can um, detect all the people outside the building and uh, report some messages and at any time. And our solution, um, the work, the working mechanism of our solution is, um, in order to trust to uh, manage the trust level of each device among the whole system, we evaluate the reputation of each device first, and uh, and then um, we have to use the multi vote multi weight voting game to uh, do to enable the dis the ability of distributed decision making and thirdly um, as we use the blockchain technology we need to um, set our um, consensus algorithm that includes minor election and the block generation methods and here is the reputation evaluation algorithm we propose. The main idea of this algorithm is that um, all UAVs will be initialized with the same um, <coughs> reputation value R, and uh, then the, rep the value will change over time according to the behaviors. You know, they could be good, and uh, you know, the devices. Mm, could perform good or bad. That's why we need this um, algorithm to distinguish the good guy from the whole system. And uh, there are two um, there are two ways to um, evaluate the reputation of each device. Firstly, mm, we could um, we could uh, use we could. Uh, Evaluate the reputation of the device by um, assess the messages sent by each devices. Consider that you know um, each each UAVs will receive uh, a lot of messages, and uh, the UAV um, group these messages to uh, M1, M2, and MI. And the uh, MI, um, MI denotes the group of messages sharing the events EI. And, uh, um, and based on the um, based on the concept that the um, the nearest the the near the UAV to the uh, event location the precisely he will report the event. So um, we could use the distance between UAV to the event location to assess the credibility of the message sent by this UAV. And here is the... And the... the All the way around. 
and this is the formula um, we assess the credibility of the message and the uh, um, DK denotes the distance from the UAVK to the event location and the theta and the beta are the um, preset parameters so that's mm, not so important and uh, then we could uh, uh, we, we use this formula to calculate each messages in the uh, message group, group MI and we get this uh, credibility group of each messages. And then we could use, uh, based on the credibility group, we could uh, infer the aggregated credibility of the event E um, using the Bayesian inference and here's Here's the um, basic um, Bayes rule, and we use the uh, law of total probability, and to calculate uh, the probability of the event E. And the way, and here, the, these two um, variables, and the, the first, the first one denotes the probability that node K does not confer, does confer, confirm the event E. Mm, and the E bar <coughs> represents that the complementary event of, e, of event E. And uh, thus the second item um, denotes the probability that node K does not confirm the event E. So we can calculate the probability of each other and uh, and then we could calculate the final result. It's not connected to your computer. So you need to put it in these. And then, and then we can, um, after getting the aggregated credibility of events, we could use this, um, use this value to um, to judge um, whether the event E is true or not. And once, we, uh, once the probability um, is bigger, bigger than the threshold value, TH, we confirm that event E is true and then the minor will generate, <laughs> and then the UAV will generate um, positive rating in plus one um, on the devices that uh, send that sends the correct message and vice versa. Mm, and so, so many UAVs will send that send their rating messages on their network, and the manner will be responsible for the reputation theory. That means to have you collected all the rating messages and calculate the. Uh, Aggregated, aggregated reputation value. Um, yeah, and uh, the second method to evaluate reputation is to um, we set the rules that each UAV still among the whole system could uh, report the events when when they um, found any malicious behavior, and then and this transaction. The report transaction will trigger a vote for process among the committees. The committee is defined by the consensus algorithm, which will be, um, which will be pre uh, discussed discussed later later on. And uh, <coughs> and uh, in order to get the reputation. Uh, the final reputation of each devices, we need the multi-weight voting um, algorithm to um, to do the calculation. And this this algorithm was proposed by uh, by this paper. Uh, they vote weighted voting on the blockchain, blah blah, and uh, and uh, there is a theorem that. Um, that uh, describe the whole algorithm, the, the working mechanism of the whole algorithm. And uh, this is a formula 
that we calculate the weight of each note. And the Q is the threshold to, um, to uh, judge and uh, to judge the, um, the the final result of the um, of the voting. Uh, for example, uh, I have uh, there are two examples about this algorithm. The example A eight um, it described the, the unweighted cases was uh, under the two thirds majority decision rules, you know. Um, once once they, there are more than two thirds nodes among the whole system confirm this message, we will confirm that it is, um, it is true. And uh, otherwise we will confirm that um, it's um, false. Um, consider there are five nodes among the um, Voting uh, uh, concerned, consider there are five nodes voting for the message with the reputation value equals 90, 90, 60, 60, 60, and the, prob the probability of, right con of reaching the right consensus is equal to um, there are four nodes out of five voting rights. Uh, that and uh, the mm, in order to calculate the probability, <coughs> we uh, we use this we use this um, tape, you know, the empirical probability of voting correctly, and their reputation value are proportional. So we could just use their reputation value to calculate the probability, and this is the final result. Um, and the, here is the example B. And it, it described the cases with weighted voting. Um, and here is the reputation, the same reputation as example A. And we calculate the weights according to this formula. And, uh, and we enumerate all the um, cases that could work, that, you know, the, the Q equals zero. In this case, the Q equals zero. So once the final voting result <coughs> is bigger than zero, it uh, would, uh, we, we will confirm that this consensus is right. And here is the possibility. And uh, but, um, due, to, uh, due to the, the, the third, uh, the, the um, you know it's common uh, it's it's common that in the POS consensus algorithm there they usually use the three the two thirds majority decision rules so we could also calculate the probability based on these rules and under this um, algorithm and here is a here is the um, possibility of reaching the right consensus. And, uh, and so, so, it's, um, so this algorithm works pretty well. And here's our reputation fusion algorithm. Um, here is firstly, the comment, uh, we will select the committee, <coughs> they will vote for the messages and then the uh, the manner will collect all the voting messages and you know if if he supports that that message if or he supports that device he will vote one and uh, otherwise he will vote minus one and then he will do the vo weighted voting process and get the final um, voting results. And the Q is the threshold, and uh, then he will, uh, and then the miner will do the reputation value updating. In you know for UEVK, he will update his new reputation value. If the um, if the um, voting results bigger than the threshold, and her 
her reputation value will increase and otherwise it will decrease. And this could be seen as a reward and this could be seen as a penalization. Um, in order to uh, confirm the, um, the reputation value offset, we consider three uh, functions and two uh, functions of f and k. And here, the first function is uh, they are equal to one. That means um, each voting process, they will, um, the, the UAV, we, the, the reputation of, of a specific <coughs> UAV will um, increase by one or decrease by one. And the, here is the result of the um, of the UAV and the gamma represents the malicious the percentage of the malicious messages sent by the specific UAV and so um, ten percent means he's uh, not too bad but he's he's good and uh, forty percent means not too bad and uh, seventy ninety is too bad. So we can say that um, we randomize the um, the events and uh, got the got this <coughs> results, and we also use the same um, the same experiment to the different functions of f and k, and in this cases we define these functions and we got this result um, it can it can uh, we can tell that at first the um, the reputation values diverge very slowly and although the re the final result was pretty good and uh, in this function um, we can tell that at first the uh, reputation value diverged very diverged very uh, quickly, but uh, um, it's not not so good because when the um, gamma equals sixty, it um, it still goes up to the very high reputation value. So we choose this one, and and the reason the the reason why we compare. Uh, this three uh, functions is only because um, uh, we can. Um, here is the uh, function, the detailed function of the second case. Um, we want to the reputation value. Um, we want to if uh, we want to reach such situation that. A UAV with high reputation, hey, hey, her reputation value will be easily, will be more easy to uh, increase higher. And uh, when he, when the UAV with lower reputation, and he will increase um, more uh, slow, uh, he will increase slower than the than the others than the others. Yeah. And uh, on the down. On the other side, and when we penalize the UAV by decreases reputation value, we want to reach the same uh, same results. You know, the UAVs with lower reputation value, it would decrease more quickly than the um, UAVs with higher reputation value. But it seems like it not work, so we adopt this um, consideration and the, once the repu once the reputation is set we uh, we could use the reputation value to uh, in three ways firstly we could use it to elect the committee and secondly we could use it to um, enable the ability to, of distributed decision making to handle the disagreements among the whole system, and that, and thirdly, in each UAV, and and third, and the third one is is pretty interesting. Each UAV in network could relay or accept other messages or requests with the probability of p 
and the, the P is um, the P means that a high reputation value favors of getting its messages accepted and trusted, um, and vice versa. And thus, the probability of malicious or manipulated UAVs attacking the whole system while sending um, plenty of spam messages or malicious messages could be lessened. And, uh, and uh, here is the minor election and the block generation scheme. Um, in terms of the committee election, um, we propose two strategies. The first one is um, when the when the GCS, the ground control station, is really close to the UAVs. So the UAVs are under control by the by the human, and we could just um, denote the uh, just the, uh, uh, then the uh, GCS as the miner, which could um, reduce the computational pressure of the UAVs. And this is based on the premise that GCS, GCS is trusted. And the second strategy is we voted the UAVs as miners. Mm, when the UAVs work autonomously without the inference of people. Mm, the, that, um, the detailed steps are Firstly, the committee candidates. We we should uh, uh, we should uh, select the committee candidates, which are um, the UAVs with the reputation value R, ranked top forty percent of the whole system, and then um, each UAVs will vote for the for X candidates as the um, committee as the uh, minor committee. And the X could be customized as the <coughs> need of decentralization and the total number of the whole system, a uh, total number of the devices in the whole system. And uh, there, um, once there are, there is, there are any omissions of generation of block generation, the re-election re process will be. Uh, triggered and uh, next the block generation um, we may concern we uh, you know um, if the if we generate the block with slow rates then the the block size will be very large and uh, it will slow down the transmission and also might cause some communication delay during um, among the network, and uh, if the block generation is and the, the rate of block generation is extremely frequent, um, the it will increase the computational burden of each UAVs. So we could we should consider the generation rate of the block. Um, and we propose this strategy, generating block by fixed time. And we consider this constraint. Uh, this means that um, the dirt delta means the average storage stock space of each UAV of each UAV, and uh, B um, represents denotes the average block size. And uh, the T0 denotes the time period of periodically released memory. Um, here, is, here is another tape we propose that to reduce the memory consumption of each UAV. Um, the, the memory of each UAV will do the memory release uh, during a period of time, in order to you know, um, they have they don't they don't have so much memory space. So if they were if they operate for a very very long time, the memory space will be not enough. So, so we propose this this method, and the A means 
um, the time interval of block generation. <coughs> so this this is the constraint. And uh, in order to make the uh, blockchain lightweight, we reconstructed the blockchain. Um, um, we uh, redesigned the block structure and the transaction structure. Um, the block header, we add uh, in the block structure, we have we add the policy list and the, the reputation tree. The reputation, reputation tree is only to recording the reputation value of all the nodes among the among the whole network. And the policy list um, is um, policy list works like an, an access control list, which uh, which regulates um, device and um, different devices um, access policy. Mm, for example, the um, requester, uh, the UAV one, can cannot access the data in the UAV one 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 and things like that. And, and here is the transaction. Mm, and regarding the transaction structure, we custom customize the transaction types into um, more than more than more than eight types, and uh, also reduce the size of the transaction, which can be seen from this table. And uh, the table one and describe the composite composition of a block and table two uh, is the composition of a transaction. Mm, the hash value and time step, the policy list, reputation route, and the, the transaction route. And the, the transaction structure. Mm, yeah. And uh, as we mentioned before, we uh, customize many um, different type of transactions, um, like the Genes Genesis um, transaction. It describes the process of adding new devices to the UAV system and the command, and <coughs> it's by the GCS and the inquiry. Um, it describes uh, that UAVs request the data from other UAV devices and the reports. This is a, um, a pretty important transaction in our system. And as we mentioned before, um, each UAV could report any malicious behavior um, to penalize the suspicious UAV. And, you know, and that means to uh, decrease the reputation value of the suspicious UAV. So, mm. and uh, here is the vote transaction and each vote transaction will um, be um, performed by the committee, by the committee, by the minor committee, yeah. And, and the alert transaction means that uh, each UAV could send a Warning could send a send an alert transaction to sound a warning once they found itself under attack. And, uh, and as we um, mentioned at the beginning, um, the system could protection the UAVs against symbol attack. Mm -hmm. um, this is only achieved by um, firstly, you know, each device need to be need to um, register to join the whole network, and uh, this process need to authorized by the administrators of the GCS. So, so I, uh, it's pretty safe, uh, and uh, it can resistant to the stable attack. And secondly. 
um, regarding the DOS and PDOS mitigation, as we mentioned before, um, and each UAVs will <coughs> delay or um, or accept the messages or requests according to this probability, and so the junk information won't be relayed when the reputation value is of the um, of the sender is very low. And secondly, um, GCS could supervise the packet flow and the reset the policy list in, in, in order to ban all the access permissions of the suspicious uh, UEV. And uh, thirdly, um, regarding the GPS spoofing resistance, this um, this is mainly um, on the premise that you know it is quite impossible for the attackers to compromise all of the UAVs simultaneously by the GPS spoofing resistance, uh, by, by the GPS <coughs> spoofing attack. So uh, the first step is once a UAV um, is close to a non-fly non zone. Actually, uh, I have to explain this. Mm. Shinshi, we, we don't have so much time anymore, so oh, oh. just don't worry about it. I oh. think no-fly zones are people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Once a UAV found itself close to a non-fly zone, it, will, it could broadcast the GPS of himself, and then this could, call, this could trigger a vote process among the whole network, and the, the requester could check the GPS information with the other people's GPS based on the weighted voting algorithm. <coughs> and so it could judge itself. Um, it, it, it could uh, confirm that if it was under attack. And this is the performance analysis. We use um, in a three simulator to simulate this um, exper simulate this experiment, and the parameters are listed as follows: the number of UAVs are from ten to fifty, and the simulation duration um, is sixty minutes, and the UAV communication range is. 300 meters and uh, mm, the malicious UAV ratio is 10% to the 50% and which could um, be denoted by the alpha and the theta, beta are preset parameters. Teach is the threshold of the credibility <coughs> accessing Method and uh, this is committee proportion. This is X. We set it to the 15%. And here is the communication latency of our um, system. And we could say that um, as the number of UAVs going up, the communication latency. Um, Increasingly, uh, increasing very uh, mm -hmm. dramatically, and uh, the second is the detection ratio of uh, the malicious of the um, and in and trustworthy UAVs based on the um, reputation evaluation scheme, and we can tell that at first when the number of UAVs are not uh, are very small. Uh, um, the detection ratio is not so good, and then um, when the number going up, the detection ratio um, looks good and the keeps stable. That's all. Thank you very much.